has different aims. In India, we have the liberty to practice our religious and culture. However, our trade and border, who have left behind our suffering, and the Chinese children, it is very unfortunate that we in India are able to enjoy all the human rights, but in Iran, our children and daughters have been denied so all the rights. The Chinese regime is attacking our economy and is trying to reduce our culture. They are trying to change the demography and culture activate by bringing some Chinese in China. Children in Chinese occupation are living in their own motherland as a refugee. They are forced to follow some Chinese culture, some Mandarin, adopt Chinese and other This injustice by China is not just limited to the All the minorities in China are targeted. You give our denied the right to follow Islam. They are not allowed to fast and pray during Ramadan. They can't give Islamic name to their children. Christians are denied the right to celebrate Easter. Chinese government raised their church and stop prayer in community hall. The Tibetan in India should. But Tibetan in India should consider themselves lucky because we are able to live here, share this in and are able to follow our culture. China claims Arunachal Pradesh as a part of southern Tibet. First of all, Tibet itself was never a part of China. They first put it, occupied it. Secondly, we Tibetans say that Arunachal was never a part of southern Tibet. Do the Chinese know our history better than us? Tibetans have never claimed that Arunachal is a part of southern Tibet. It is an integral and inseparable part of India. Arunachal is and always be a part of India. The Chinese government claim our baseless and we reject it. China has always tried to create trouble for their noble. They are constantly trying to create dispute in LSC. We have lost our soldier life due to China arrogance. On one hand, they said that they wish for peace and sensitivity in LSC. And on the other hand, they try to get more and more disturbed in border. Such actions by China are intolerable and highly unacceptable. We would like to inform Indian government